In this talk, I will present HealthBiz, a tool for generating contextual visual mobile tutorials from text-based instructions. Smartphones today provide a myriad of functionalities. However, finding a certain feature can sometimes be a challenge to users who are not familiar with the system or an app, such as enabling tethering on the phone. So it's common for users to look for instructions on how to perform a specific task on the web. Existing online tutorials are typically created by professionals or domain experts. One of the popular formats is a web document, which presents a sequence of steps where each step includes the text instructions that are often accompanied by one or more images. Despite existing automation techniques, the process of tutorial creation still needs a significant amount of human effort. As software is frequently updated, tutorials need to be revised because a task procedure might contain mismatched details or its screenshot images may be outdated. Therefore, it is important to further reduce the cost of tutorial creation. In this work, we focus on utilizing the vast corpus of text instructions that are already available on the web. We call our tool Help This, which can automatically transform a batch of text instructions to contextual visual tutorials that can be interactively navigated on a mobile device. As an overview, HelpViz transforms text instructions to graphical tutorials by extracting a sequence of actions from each text instruction through an instruction parsing model and executing the extracted actions on a simulation infrastructure that manages an array of Android emulators. The automatic execution of each instruction produces a set of graphical and structural assets, including images, videos, and metadata, such as clicked elements for each step. HelpViz then synthesizes a tutorial by combining parsed text instructions with the generated assets and contextualizes the tutorial to user interaction by tracking the user's progress and highlighting the next step. In this demo, a user follows the tutorial to turn on the key press sound. The user performs the first three steps, then returns to the tutorial. Help this automatically scrolls to and highlights the next step for the user. The user then proceeds with the rest of the steps and finishes the intended task. Two challenges arise from the automatic execution of instructions crawled from the web. One issue is the inaccurate inference results of the parsing model, which is a pre-trained deep model. The other issue is the mismatch between the instruction and the actual interfaces encountered in the emulator. Both issues can cause failures for automatic execution. To address the first issue that the parsing model produces inaccurate results, we introduce beam search to decode the parsing model output. By default, the instruction parsing model extracts a best sequence of operation object tuples for actions from the text instructions by greedy encoding where the most likely tuple for each action is selected. However, such greedy decoding may generate a suboptimal sequence if there are errors in the decoded actions, because for each step, it only selects the best action depending on previous actions, which can be a local optima considering the full sequence. To address this issue, we use beam search to track the top three decoded sequences at each step to improve the overall parsing result. Each beam is a possible action sequence. In generating these sequences, the model aims to maximize the probability of the overall action sequence rather than the probability of the individual actions. The second issue is that the instruction may not exactly match the app UIs on the emulator. For example, the instruction can be outdated as the UI of an app running the emulator has been recently updated. We implemented look ahead in the emulator. With look ahead, the executor allows a maximum of five unsuccessful actions, including tapping and scrolling for each task. If the executor is still not able to perform the action described in the current step after these five attempts, that is, the target element in the current step does not appear on the screen, it then skips the current step and looks for the target element described in the next step and attempts to execute the next step's action if found. We conducted experiments to evaluate the performance of the HelpViz pipeline. We used the Pixel Help dataset, which contained 187 text instructions for using the Android Pixel phones. 
we compared four configurations of the pipeline beam search only, look ahead only, beam search with look ahead, and a baseline condition that uses neither beam search nor look ahead. We looked at the percentage of actions that each pipeline configuration could complete. Results show that by adopting both beam search and look ahead, the pipeline achieves substantial improvement over the baseline condition. With the assets collected during automatic execution, HelpViz could synthesize the visual tutorials and enable step matching to serve a tutorial in context. This matching process is done while a user is using the tutorials, and it helps to highlight the current step for the user. With the help of Android Accessibility API, we compare the underlying view hierarchy of the user's current screen with metadata stored during automatic execution and automatically advances the tutorial to the next step. We conducted studies with 10 participants to investigate how mobile users receive visual tutorials generated by HelpViz in comparison with the original text instructions. Our remote study showed that, although participants spent about the same amount of time using each technique, participants showed overall preference for the context-aware visual tutorials generated by HelpViz. Especially, participants found that automatically generated thumbnails and screenshots to be helpful and many were pleasantly surprised when HelpViz tutorials automatically advanced to their current steps. Due to restrictions with remote studies, six participants were experienced users and would likely not significantly benefit from the improved visualizations and interactivity of HelpViz tutorials. We hypothesize that as the complexity of the tasks increase and users are less familiar with the tasks, HealthViz can show advantages on time performances as well, which deserves further investigation. In conclusion, our experiments demonstrated that the HealthViz pipeline is effective in automatically generating tutorials by incorporating a previously trained deep model. We showed that by enabling beam search execution and look ahead, we improved the robustness of fully automatic execution. The user study showed that participants preferred the HealthViz tutorials even though the visual assets were automatically collected. HelpViz demonstrates the feasibility to convert a vast number of text instructions on the web to visual tutorials that are adapted to different versions of mobile apps and platforms and hardware configurations.